check it out. Let's get all this yolk out of here. Hey, we want the yolk. Okay, pour it in the bowl. Yay! All right, Spencer gets to crack one. Crack the cleanest one you can get. Spencer, crack this one. Nope. He can pick which one he wants. All right, you crack it. Remember, crack it on the island. One solid hit. Yeah. Push those thumbs in there. Yeah, put your thumbs in the crack. Push them in there. Pull it apart real gentle. Good job. Good job. All right, put your eggshell in the compost. It's okay. We'll work together and get the shells out. And I got some eggs. That's okay. It happens. That's why we got practice. All right, and DJ's gonna finish out the rest. Hey guys, so I'm editing this video and realized I never said good morning or hello or how's it going? So, hello, how are you? Hope you guys have had an awesome day. Um, wanted to take you along on some of our daily adventures um, as we tackle quite a bit of food projects today. Um, I've talked about this before, but something that's really important to me um, since we do raise our own animals and meat is to utilize as much of the animal as we can. Um, and so we make a lot of our own bone broths and stocks. Um, and one of the more common ones I make because we have so much of it is chicken broth. Um, sometimes I'll use the carcass from like a whole bone chicken. Um, but then we also make broth out of the feet and the necks. And I know that's probably really gross for some of you, um, but this is actually one of the best ways to make chicken bone and broth. It has all of the um, the high nutrition that you need in it. Um, I add a little bit of apple cider vinegar and salt to help break down um, it as it warms and I let it cook like all day long. I put it in a crock pot, you could use a stock pot on the stove and I just let it sit there all day long. Using this along with like the apple cider vinegar also helps pull off all the collagen that's in those, which is really, really good for your muscles. Um, and so we like bone broth. We use it for everything. I do drink it periodically, especially when I'm not feeling good because it's really, really nutritious for you. Um, and so working on breakfast, gonna get this kick in and then keep going. So I think to sneak some greens in my frittata this morning, look at these kale, they're doing so lovely. I'm very excited. Um, my, I am not a very good inside plant person and I'm not sure if I planted these too early or if they're not getting enough sunlight, but these poor guys, man, I just, I'm not doing very good with these green stalks. So I'm going to pick up something to put on the bottom so I can make sure that they're like really thoroughly watered. Um, I'm going to start extra seeds to get them um, more matured before I put them in there um, and then see if I have more luck. Um, so first go around on my green stalks, <laughs> fail, but we're not going to give up. We're going to try again. <sighs> Side note, I think before we moved DJ's chickens out, they were getting out of the pen. And I think some of them actually got all my green stalks and were eating some of my starts. So part of it is a fail on mom's part. Part of it is the chickens very much enjoy their fresh greens. So we're going to try again. All right. So this morning we have some uh, applewood smoked bacon that I smoked um, last year, I think. Um, oh, come back. Um, I am throwing in some old shredded squash that I had frozen um, from last year um, just to try to use that up. I pulled a couple of the most mature leaves off of my little seed starts um, of my kale. All right, and then uh, covered all of the filling with eggs, um, scrambled with some fresh milk and we're gonna pop this in the oven um, for a little while and that is breakfast. All right, so breakfast is baking and now, get back, get back. Now we do chores. Well, part of the chores. Come on, come on, Ma. 
What's your breakfast? Good boy. It's a good dog. Yeah, you protect your food. There's nothing wrong with that. So, DJ's chickens are starting to go rogue. They're getting big, though. So, we're going to have to figure something else out. Also, news. We let our three new men out. And they're doing pretty good. They were down at the pond, but they know I am food. So, they're looking for breakfast. Hello, hello, good morning. So over the winter, let me step back so you can see. We had the cows right in here. And at one point they had kind of shredded a hay bale. So I've kind of had the chickens sitting here to spread it out before I move them up. But like I'm trying to keep them off of that spot because it's just, it's growing back pretty good. So, hello ladies, thank you for your work. But another fun, exciting little treasure. Moose, our goose, left us another egg. Whoop, whoop. <sighs> Guys, I think little fun treasures like that are always super fun to find. Yeah, that. Thank you, Miss Moose. Thank you, girl. Okay, so again, I don't think this will ever get old. Like, look at these lovely things. And this is after getting like 15 yesterday and like 11 the day before. Like, it's so much fun. But yeah, so. One of the things I tried last year with like partial success was I limed my eggs. It's a way of preserving your eggs um, for like more long-term storage than just whoo, shelf space or fridge space. And so I'm gonna do that with some of these extra. And obviously like you saw with our breakfast, we eat a ton of eggs especially in the spring. Um, <clears throat> Look at that lovely haul. So pretty. Oh, I forgot one. Um, but I love having fresh eggs to be able to like share and sell with friends and family and stuff. So like my mom and mother-in-law buy, buy eggs from us when we have extra and um, we do sell extra when we have them. So, but this year I wanted to really try to preserve some for the winter more than I have in the past. So that, um, like, especially around holidays with Christmas and baking and all that stuff, I have plenty of our good eggs for that. lesson. Right, Lane? Uh-huh. This is homeschooling. You ready for your homeschool lesson mm -hmm. today? Okay. This would be a chicken egg. Chicken egg. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a Next duck egg. Next up is a duck egg. So, um, generally in a recipe, one duck egg is one and a half chicken eggs. Now, fun, rare the biggest, lesson. The biggest egg of all is the goose egg. So goose egg, and I have never actually even baked or cooked with the goose egg. Um, this is the first year that we've ever had a goose old enough to lay. So, but I mean, I'm gonna look it up, but based on just the size, I would say that it's two chicken eggs worth of egg. So, but that's pretty sweet. And so like for comparison, my hand, which is relatively small chicken egg, which is like your standard egg roughly duck egg 
and goose egg. And we have breakfast. All right, so on the docket for breakfast, we have frittata and yogurt. Um, super exciting. All of the frittata, yeah, all of the frittata is from our land. Whoop, whoop. And then the yogurt is from a local farm and the maple syrup is from Azure and the bananas are from Food Lion. I'm going to make yogurt today. Um, we have a milk pickup tomorrow. Um, we have a cow, um, but we still go through a lot of dairy. And um, I want to eventually be able to source all of our dairy products. But that's a ways out. Um, so on Fridays, I try... Fridays is my goal. It doesn't always happen on Fridays. But I try to take whatever leftover milk from the previous milk run week and make yogurt out of it. I don't um, eat yogurt, so I use this yogurt, um, or this milk, I'm sorry, for our yogurt because it she does grain feed her cows. Um, so I give the kids and Tim that since I'm not supposed to have any grain fed dairy products or red meat products. So... I'm gonna get yogurt cooking. Um, it's super simple, actually. I heat this up to a temperature, let it cool down a little bit, add some yogurt starter, and then I let it sit on the counter for a really long time. Um, I have found the longer I let it sit, um, the thicker it gets. Fresh raw milk yogurt is very runny um, compared to what like your typical yogurts are. And so I found that the longer I let it sit and um, ferment the thicker it gets and the taste doesn't get super strong if you just leave it out for a day if you leave it out longer than a day then it starts to get a really really strong taste to it but my kids like it this way my husband eats it this way so until somebody tells me otherwise that mom I just really don't like this this is the way we're going all right tell everybody what we're doing we feed cats. we're gonna feed the cat why? Why are we going to feed the cats? Because they're hungry. Because they're hungry. Now this girl, <coughs> she takes after her daddy. As you can see, I'm out here in a coat. Nope. This girl, she's ready for summer, aren't you? <laughs> All right. So on pretty days, she's gonna, she helps me with the kitty cats. And so we're going to help daddy out inside a little bit by having Lulu help us with this drawer. Huh? All right. All right, mom's gonna get your scope and then you go pour it in their bowls, okay? All right, go pour it in their bowls. Watch that metal, don't step on the metal. Good job. Good job. There's one more over there. Can you put it over there? Good job. Pour it all in there. I've got one more bowl that will do a whole new scoop. So pour all that in there. Whoa, good job. All right, I got a big bowl over here. Let's go get it. Ooh. All right. A big, big bowl. We'll put it right here, okay? Okay, you can come eat it. Yeah. Nope, pour it all in there. That whole bowl. Good job. All right, let's put our scoop away. Okay. Hey, thanks for your help. You ready to go inside? All right, come on. 
All right. Thank you, Lulu. You're welcome. <laughs> I love being able to have the kids help with chores that are, you know, appropriate for their age. Yeah. And feeding kitty cats, that's totally appropriate age for a three-year-old, right? Yep. And she does a good job. Didn't you? <laughs> well, hello, fellows. You guys have followed me all around the property today, huh? Okay, so if you don't know much about ducks, these guys are called walking ducks. They stand a lot more erect, straight, straight up. Whereas these guys over here, guys, girls, ducks, they waddle more. So they're more bent down to the ground. Aren't they fun? So kind of regular ducks that you're used to seeing. Running ducks, walking ducks. The walking ducks, a lot of like organic vineyards will use them as pest control because they can reach up higher, um, but aren't as rough on the uh, vines as some other pest control critters might be. So, a couple hours later, here is our chicken broth. Um, I will probably actually let this go all the way through the evening, um, jar it up in the morning. Um, and that way, a good 24 hours on that broth will be awesome. And then, let me grab a spoon. Our yogurt has been sitting all day. And it, oh, hello, come back down here, has thickened up, focus, focus, there we go, has thickened, 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 has thickened up very nicely. So, fresh yogurt, very cool. Now, I have not gotten to cream separating today. We ended up running into town and doing some errands. Um, and so, cream separating may happen tomorrow, I'm not sure. But, I'm super excited while we were in town. Um, if you're not local to the area, but you may not know what these are, but these, my friends, are a sign of spring. These are called ramps. They are amazing. Um, they have like an oniony smell. Um, they're so good. Now, I will warn you, they're very strong smelling. I put the bag in my car and... <laughs> 15 minutes later, Lane goes, Mom, what is that smell? It smells like something. Well, it was the ramps. They smell like onions and they're very strong. So, but they're wonderful. Um, my sister-in-law and brother love to make them with like eggs and potatoes. Um, so, but tonight we're gonna do our spin on it because I had already put out pork chops. So we're gonna have oven baked pork chops ramps with onion and garlic and then mashed potatoes because the boys asked for mashed potatoes to fried. So that is what's for dinner. Clearly our world has a lot to do with food, which doesn't hurt my heart any because the food is what fuels our body to be able to do the, the big dreams and the goals that we are given. So um, thanks for joining us today. Hope you guys have had an awesome day. Um, I'm going to hunker down because it is rainy and windy and enjoy an evening of PJs and fuzzy socks. So hope you guys have a good night. Stay safe. All right, so there we go. Mashed potatoes, pork, and ramps. We're some fancy schmancy sauce away from deliciousness. But I ain't making no fancy schmancy sauce tonight. So it's supper time.